Let's talk mattresses. In the last couple of years, Ken and I have used several different mattresses and learned a lot along the way. And I think today it's time to share some of that with you. We're partnering with goodmorning.com who've sent us a mattress and a couple of pillows in exchange for sharing our honest experience with you. So we're gonna be comparing three different mattresses, the Endy mattress, as well as the Douglas and Apollo mattresses from goodmorning.com. So let's get into it. We slept on the Douglas mattress a few years ago and we were happy with it, but through a series of moves, we don't have that mattress anymore, so I can't show it to you, but I can tell you a little bit about what it's made of. The cover of the Douglas is made from a natural moisture wicking fabric. It can be unzipped and removed so you can wash it separately. On the inside of the mattress, there are three layers of foam. The top layer is a cooling gel foam. The middle layer is their premium elastics foam with latex like responsiveness and pressure relief, but it doesn't have the chemicals that are in many natural latex mattresses that can cause allergic reactions. And then the base layer is their motion isolation support foam for eliminating motion transfer between sleepers so you won't feel your partner moving around at night as much as you would with another type of foam. So that is a Douglas mattress. Now let's go take a look at the foam inside of the ND mattress. The ND mattress comes with a quilted cover that can be unzipped and removed. Underneath are three layers of foam. The top layer is their open air cell technology foam for cooling. The middle layer is more of a medium firm layer for pressure point relief. And the base layer is the firmest to provide support and prevent motion transfer. It's a little more difficult to show you the inside of the Apollo mattress because there is a fabric coating on the inside of the removable cover. So I'm just gonna show you an image and talk you through that. The Apollo cover can be unzipped and removed and it's made from a special fabric that actually feels cooler to the touch. It has several more layers than the other two mattresses we're comparing with a top layer of memory foam infused with two cooling agents. Then we have a layer of open cell memory foam for pressure point relief with an added three inches of edge support. And the Apollo also has a layer of pocketed microcoils in addition to a dual layer base for motion isolation and support. Now let's do a pillow comparison. I have the Douglas pillow from goodmorning.com and the Envy pillow. And they're very similar concepts. I'll show you, they each unzip. And then on the sides, there is padding that's not really removable. And on the inside, there's an extra section with little bits of foam inside. You can unzip it, take some of the foam out, and you can put it back in if you prefer a more full pillow. This is what's inside of the ND pillow. And this is what's inside of the Douglas pillow. I really like the concept of these pillows and the fact that you can adjust them to fit whatever you're looking for in a pillow. Now, when it comes to choosing a Canadian mattress company or a mattress company that sells their mattresses in Canada, the thing that I like about goodmorning.com is that it's not a one size fits all philosophy. They offer several different mattresses on their website. They all have different price points, different features, different purposes. And you can go on there and figure out which mattress is the best fit for you. So you don't have to do it alone. They actually have a quiz on their website which is what I used to figure out that the Apollo would probably be a good fit for Ken and I. They take into account your budget, they, the position that you sleep in, the position that your partner sleeps in, your own preferences, and lots of other questions that they ask you to calculate and figure out which mattress is most likely to be the fit for you. Now you don't have to completely rely on that quiz result either because once you get the mattress into your home, you do have a trial period. You can sleep on the mattress up to 120 nights before you make the final decision about whether you want to keep it or contact them. They'll come and take it away from you and they'll give you a refund if it wasn't the right mattress for you. The other mattress that I compared in this video, the Envy, they also have a trial period. Theirs is 100 nights. So whatever you decide to do, don't worry, you're not stuck with a mattress that showed up on your doorstep and doesn't turn out to be the right fit for you. As far as delivery goes, we received our mattress quickly and the box was a little worse for wear, but the mattress inside was perfectly fine, wrapped in lots of strong plastic, no damage done. And the unboxing process was just like any other mattress in a box unboxing experience. I'm going to put a few links in the description to take you to the blog post I've written on the different mattresses. 
as well as where you can find some other reviews on the mattresses if you want to read up on them. But if you're looking for a mattress, I highly recommend that you get yourself over to goodmorning.com and take their quiz. I really think it's going to help you narrow down which mattress you want to be getting. So I'm going to put a, an affiliate link in the description below so you can get that a try. And I really hope this video has helped you in your own quest to find the right mattress for you.